Yo, what is up guys? It is Jan Chan Entertainment here for you that know me and most of y'all probably won't know me by any chance. But today I would like to go over some major key differences between the Brawly movie, the canon one, and the non-canon one. So from the Dragon Ball Z movie Brawly. Now I did a video on this before, but I didn't get around to editing it because I had internet problems. But we're not going to get to that. We're just going to get to the major key differences and what I believe will happen in the future of Dragon Ball. Now, as you guys already know, that Brawly turned out good this time around instead of becoming evil. And the reason for being evil in the non-canon version was because he hated Goku for some reason. And the reason that he hated Goku was for either... He was crying too much, and that's what angered him. And he couldn't remember that, and he kind of stuck with the name Kakarot as a person he, to, I guess, defeat or beat up. But and then another one reason was because maybe he had a, a vision that he could see the future. It's like how Bardock did when he saw the future with um, how Frieza was going to blow up the planet, which was also non-canon because of what happened in the movie, as you guys know. And um, what had happened was. That he could see the future is that he knew that this person named Kakarot was going to defeat him. So that was another theory of why Brawly was angry at Goku and why he got triggered at the word of Goku. But in this movie, it's different. Now, before I get to that, we're going to go from beginning to end in the chronological order of how the sequences went in the movie um, and the differences. So one of the differences was um, the capsule chambers. The capsule chambers was completely different. Um... Instead of Vegeta having his own special room, he's he's in the nursing room with all the other high-ranking, um... No, no, he's... No, they're all in the same nursing room. And Vegeta's at the top because he's the prince. And also the strong... The strong the other strong Saiyans are also around the prince, Vegeta. And the other Saiyans are just on the side somewhere. So, yeah, that's... That's one thing. Um, and... Brawly and Goku weren't in... The same. I don't think. I don't think they were next to the, uh, each other in the chamber. I don't think in the movie. But if I'm wrong, correct me. Or I'll say I'm wrong in the video and look it up. But yeah, I don't think they were next to each other. And um, they Vegeta got King Vegeta got jealous. And besides, besides him stabbing him like in the non-canon one, he just sent him off to a distant planet where he's bound to be killed. And Paragus was not having none of that. He went after his son, defied King Vegeta, and went off to see his son. Find the son. And that was one of the major key differences is how that whole event went to play. And another key difference was how Bardock sensed Frieza that he was going to betray the Saiyans. And how he did this was it wasn't because it's was a future event. It's because he's just like, huh, you know, I kind of just have a feeling because in the movie... Frieza called back everybody or played Vegeta because he wanted to give some announcement. It's like, you know, Frieza never really does. Frieza really never does this. It's something he never really does. So what happened? He just so he just took his son's like I have a feeling. You know, if I don't, if the feeling's wrong, I'll come back and get Goku. But I have to make sure my son is safe at all costs because Raditz and Vegeta Junior. I mean, King uh, Vegeta, uh, Vegeta as a kid. They were off with Nappa doing a mission. So they were safe. So he's making sure his son was safe. And then um, Mark's accusation was right. And Frieza tried to destroy the whole planet. And he did. In the, it is canon that he tried to uh, tried to make a stand. And tried to get Frieza, beat Frieza. So that is canon. But um, him seeing the future, that's not canon. For him seeing, like, you know, son beating up Frieza as a Super Saiyan, that's not canon. But... Anyway, another difference was how Vegeta, you know, I already said this, he already sent him off. Um, besides Paragus being saved by Brawly and having his aura as a kid, he, like he turned Super Saiyan as a, as a kid and protected Paragus in this energy orb and flew him off to a different planet. That didn't happen. Paragus just left before any of this happened and he was just lucky he didn't get killed. Another one of the differences was between the non-canon and the canon one was because a uh, Brawly actually has emotions. He actually feels emotion, and he wasn't the soulless creature like he was in the non-canon one. 
um, Raleigh actually had a friend on Vampa, Planet Vampa, which is like this bear creature that was in this hole that would eat these blood sucking parasites or whatever it was. Um, but he actually had um, feelings. And his dad was the one who actually wanted the blood rotting revenge as much as Broly did, but Broly doesn't have an anger towards Goku. He has no anger towards anyone. He just wants to do what his father tells him to do. And his father has, um, instead of like, you know, the thing that he had in the regular can the canon one, and he has a, like a dog shark collar, so it's kind of portraying him as it's like a imagery type of thing, showing him that he's like a slave to Paragus and doing Paragus' revenge bidding and stuff like that, which was like sickening and you can see like in Broly's face that he doesn't want to fight which is which I thought that was pretty cool that they implemented that and not implemented as like he's just a big old machine of death ready to kill anything in his path and angry at what specific character the main character of Goku so that was a good um difference that I liked in the movie that they did another difference was um that how he was found so Instead of Paragus knowing how to escape the planet, he kind of was found by Frieza's henchmen. He was found by Frieza's henchmen, and they were on this abandoned planet. And they can they can get out, and you guys know this if you watch the movie. So I'm pretty sure most of y'all y'all watch the movie. So um, yeah, you would know that. Yeah, they were found by Frieza's henchmen, and then they became friends with the henchmen, and did Frieza's bidding. Because he doesn't know that Frieza destroyed the planet. He just thinks that Planet Vegeta got wiped out by an asteroid. He doesn't know that Frieza actually blew up the planet. He just wants revenge on King Vegeta, the Vegeta line, because he didn't like his son, exiled his son. Now he's in this mess because of Vegeta's bloodline. And that's why he just wants bloody revenge and not seeing the bigger picture. Which I'm kind of upset that it didn't show, they didn't tell him <laughs> that. Oh, Frieza blew up our planet. I'm mad that they kind of didn't do that. I was kind of like waiting for like, oh, yes, find out that he destroyed the planet. And it's like, oh, change your heart. Everybody fight Frieza now. But no, that didn't happen. Oh, he got killed before that happened. And um, how Paragus got killed, Brawly didn't kill Paragus. And it's going to be kind of out of order. But yeah, Brawly didn't kill Paragus. Paragus got killed by Frieza. Right. So yeah, that was the difference as well. Um, yeah, so... After that, they got suited up, got greeted, greeted by Frieza. Um, Frieza brought him back to Earth because Frieza wanted to use Dragon Balls. As you know, what the reason why he wanted to use the Dragon Balls for, if you've seen the movie, which is pretty stupid. But um, they went to Earth, and then that's when Paragus was like, I can finally get my revenge on Vegeta and Vegeta's bloodline. All right, so he had Brawly go at him. So Brawly was fighting him. And they're fighting, and they're fighting, and they're fighting. And also, I went out of order again, but another, another difference, another difference was Brawly doesn't have a tail anymore. Um, Paragus cut off his tail. And the reason that Paragus cut off his tail is because that he became a great ape. And they were saying, like, he was way too out of control as a great ape. So that's why he cut off his tail. But how they reiterate Brawly's form, like Brawly's legendary Super Saiyan form, they iterated how, like, instead of Super Saiyan 4 getting the, like, you know, in GT, this, if you're a Super Saiyan 4, you got the power of the Ozaro ape inside of you while you're still in your um, Saiyan, regular Saiyan state. They did that for, they did that for um, Brawly, the legendary Super Saiyan for both Kale. Yeah, what is, yeah, it's Kale, Kale. Yeah, I almost said Kale 4. But it's Kale and uh, Brawly. So they're saying that, okay, that is what we're going to make the Zaro Ape like. Like the Zaro uh, human form. It's a legendary Super Saiyan form using the Zaro Ape's power while in regular, while in a regular state. And that's what a legendary Super Saiyan is. That's what they are going to call the legendary Super Saiyan. So yeah, that's why the tail's cut off. That was another difference. Key difference. Um, Also, another difference in the movie is that Brawly... Instead of, like, before, because in the not getting one, Broly already knew how to go Super Saiyan. Broly already knew how to go to his legendary Super Saiyan form. 
But in this one, Broly didn't know how to do it. He's just been strong in his base form. He's always been using his base form. He never knew how to go Super Saiyan or how to go Legendary Super Saiyan. As Frieza states, like, oh, Broly can't go Super Saiyan. It's like, well, Perry's like, well, I'm afraid not. It's like, well, this is a lost cause. Then pack your things up. We were going home. And it was like, that Frieza remembers something. It's like, wait. I think I know a way to exert his power. So what he did was, this is referring back how Frieza killed Perry's. He death beamed him and blamed the that for having an effect. Like he he blamed it all like a, oh, a random beam of energy kills your father when he actually killed him. So yeah, but I think he was Super Saiyan before that. He was Super Saiyan before that happened. Oh, no 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 what? No, I think he wasn't Super Saiyan, but well, he was just in his big bulky form and he was Super Saiyan. And that was a big, like, big dramatic event. He was Super Saiyan with Super Saiyan for the first time. And then uh, he started fighting Goku and Vegeta again out of rage that his dad died. And then um, also, as the fight continued, it was very um, anticlimactic. How he went in his super legendary Super Saiyan state for like a split second. Like, it was no charge up. It just happened while in the middle of the fight, which I thought that was pretty cool. Um, but it was very anticlimactic. I wasn't expecting that. I thought it was going to be another big dramatic, dramatic uh, scene for it. But they didn't do that. So that was another difference. Um, another difference of like what happened is because, you know, Gogeta. Gogeta came into play. And I think at first, I think Vegeta was play I don't think, I don't think any of them were playing the kill. But there was some malicious intent to like, all right, if he gets too rowdy, you know, we're going to have to end him. But they were, as the fight continued, the Goku's like, hey, I can see, you know, you're not really wanting to fight. You don't have to, you know. And he was telling Broly that. So what happens in the middle of the fight? So they're like, okay, if we're not going to fight him. We're just going to have to, like, guess, train fight him, you know, how that works. But, yeah. And then Gogeta. Gogeta was in the fight. And that's, that's going to also tie into the next segment of this video, why I think... What's going to be happening in the next in Super, which I think will be cool to happen in Super, in the next season of Super. So, yeah. And the Gogeta fight with Brawly, you know, out of his league. And also, one thing that caught my eye in that video, in the movie, was that how they said that, dang, Brawly, you're this strong, you're almost as strong as Beerus. Would get me to think like if Goku and Vegeta are stronger than Beerus, I mean, are stronger than Brawly, and Brawly's almost as strong as Beerus, wouldn't that technically mean Goku and Vegeta are stronger than Lord Beerus? Even maybe even Frieza stronger than Beerus. Does that mean that, or is like, are they just referring to like Beerus in his like? Like base form, he's not using all of his power, but he said like Goku said, stated that he's almost stronger than Beerus. So, hands down, I think Goji Blue, Gogeta Blue is gonna be stronger than Beerus, hundred percent, in my opinion. I think that that's what that is, and I think Beerus is just strong because he has God Destruction Aura, and um, in the and Beerus doesn't really train either, so he's not really training to get stronger. So. In the fight when between Goku and Battle of the Gods, when he had to use almost all of his power, he used only like 85% of it, I think, I believe. So, from that, and then from his pro Goku's progression in training, I believe Goku and Vegeta are surpassed Beerus at this point in the series. And Beerus is just kind of laid back. He's like, you know, just wait for the next God of Destruction to take my place. <laughs> it's kind of like that. So, that's what I believe. And, um... Yeah, so Gogeta Blue fighting Brawly. Difference, another difference. Besides Goku doing the finishing blow on Brawly and everyone giving Goku the energy. So, yeah. And I also want to put out another funny part in the movie. um, Because uh, Frieza thought it was kind of unfair for them to fuse because he didn't know they could fuse. And Gogeta, now being canon, because he wasn't canon before. And we're going to get to the that in the second the non-canon version what I think is going to happen in the future of Super. And I believe that might be all the differences. Oh, and then, hold on. I mean, that's all the differences, but let me talk to you about the about my favorite part of the movie. On the end, the end was my favorite part of the movie because I knew Brawly wasn't going to die. I knew Brawly was going to be good. I knew Brawly was going to be a good guy. And as you know how Brawly survived, you should already know what happened. But I don't think 
Gogeta was intending to kill him. But you sure already know what happened, how he got survived, and how he got back to the players. And um, the coolest part when Goku came back and was like, it's like, yeah, I mean, I'll come back and give you some more food. Just let me spar with Brawly every now and then. He's like, telling him that Brawly is strong. Like, he could get stronger as long as he trains more. And I'm going to train him. And I was like, so Goku is training Brawly, which I thought that was pretty cool since he's being a good guy now. So that little picture of that a snippet of Vegeta, Goku, and then Brawly in that white gi, we could see that potentially happening when they're training, like training with Whis, because Whis also fought Brawly a little bit, like he was kind of training, a little doing training session. So we could possibly see all three of them fighting Whis and training with Whis. So that would be that would be pretty cool. And then I saw a little, I don't know if this is true or not, but it could there could be just a little bit of something because I saw this in this uh com a bit of comic book on Facebook about Goku and Brawly fusing. So we might be able to see a fusion of that, and that would be amazing. If we ever, if, if we're able to see a fusion of, of Gohan, uh, we should have saw Gohan and Goku fuse before before Gohan got weaker, which I thought that would have been pretty cool to see. And then now seeing a Goku and Brawly fusion, that's gonna be a hundred times amazing because you already see Kefla and Kale they already fused before, so why not Goku and Brawly? You know, because they're literally the same people just in opposite universes. So I thought that was pretty cool um it's on facebook um i pre if some of y'all probably seen it i have i've seen it but i'll i'll try to get the um see if i can find a picture of it but i don't think i'm able to find a picture of it this uh but yeah and now that was pretty much all the key differences and i keep forgetting to say my favorite, my favorite part of the movie pop my apologies my favorite part of the movie because goku is training is training in brawly getting off i was getting off track he's training brawly and he says He's, he's like, and they don't know his name. It's like, well, what should we call you if, if we try to trust you? We know what we should call you, which is Brawly's like friends. And he's like, well, you guys can call me Goku, but Brawly, you could call me Kakarot. And vanishes. I thought that was the coolest line ever. I didn't expect, I didn't, ex bleh, I wasn't expecting Goku to do that. That was amazing. I thought that was dope. That was the dopest, that was the best way to end that movie off of. I wasn't expecting Goku's like, and Goku, I just, like, me seeing that, um, me seeing that is, like, a whole eye-opener, like, okay, Goku actually acknowledges his Saiyan name, which is pretty cool, you know, he, he takes pride in his Saiyan name as well, as well as his Earth name, so he says, probably you could call me Kakarot, so that's cool, I thought that was pretty cool, and now, now that's everything, we're gonna go on to what I think will happen next in, in Super, now, for for Brawly being good, you already know we're going to see Brawly in Super. We're already going to see the Brawly movie be iterated in Super because, you know, how they did with Battle of the Gods and then Resurrection F. We're going to see Brawly and we're going to see, we're going to see that movie in the series and see how they changed it in the series. And it'll be even more canon from what we've seen already in the movie before. And the animation style is way better. So expect that to be seen in the next episode, next season of Super. And then I saw another, like, a little spoiler clip of Goku and Jiria in the same frame in this land. So, I'm expecting that. I'm expecting something of, bro, of, um, not probably, uh, Jiren and Goku in the same episode fighting off of something. I'm expecting to see that. Of them, the actual team up of Jiren and Goku, the two strongest beings in all the universes. So, expecting to see that. And then more of Brawly, you know, more of Brawly, see how good he turns. And also in the movie, Frieza's going to try to tempt Brawly to be bad, but I don't think that's going to happen. But yeah, he is, they're going to try to, you know, train Brawly. So we're gonna see a lot of, we're going to see a lot of Brawly and Goku helping Brawly, you know, be able to control his power. And that would be pretty dope to see. And then another thing, what you expect to see, what I think you'll expect to see, um... Have you ever seen, if you say Budokai Tenchi 3, the game, you've seen, like, in the movie, in the um, cinematic, in the, before you load, in, when you load into the game, you see Go, you see Vegeta and Goku fused, they fused into Gogeta, and they were fighting Janiba at first, and Ultimate Gohan was fighting Brawly. But then they do an uh, enemy switch, where Gogeta goes fights Brawly, and then Gohan goes fights Janimba. So I feel like if they're going to add, iterate, Janimba into the series, it will hit Go Gohan will go fight Janimba if they ever iterate Janimba into the series, which I think they should 
he was a good enemy. I liked him. He only like even though he only lasted like a few minutes in that movie because he, you know, ultimate, you know, Gogeta kind of wrecked him. <laughs> but yeah, but we didn't get to see Big Bad coming from Hao, which I'm surprised. So hopefully they'll put that put that as a move for him because I want to see Big Bang coming out. Yeah. You got to put that in there. That's a classic. Please put that in there, Toriyama. But, yeah, I expect if you, if Janimba's coming into the series, probably going to be like a little side off, you know, a little side filler, mid filler episode with Gohan in it, fighting Janimba. And how, however they will iterate Janimba into the series, it could, Gohan could have been like in the demon world for some reason, the underworld. For some reason, just for some reason, or he could be in the surface and fighting Janimba. Well, however they were to iterate that, I'm pretty sure it's going to be good. But yeah, I would definitely like to see a Gohan and Janimba fight in Super. Uh, the next thing is forms. As you know, because they did put Ultraistic in the movie. Even though that was a little bit of a tease, because it was a big tease, a very big tease. If I say, wow, Brawly, Ultraistic, and Gogeta in one movie? What could go wrong? But they did put Ultraistic. So it was, a, it was a tease. That was a big tease. A big filler tease. Not filler, but a big spoiler tease. But they got to iter iter iterate more in the, um, more in the Ultraistic. They're going to have to. Um, because... If you see Dragon Ball Heroes, that little anime, the little anime short, the short, um, and one of the last episodes, Goku trains with the Grand Priest, which I hope they put that in the actual, like, main storyline. He trains with the Grand Priest and learns how to control Ultra Instinct more, which I hope to see that. And also, I feel like, I feel like maybe Super Saiyan 4 might not be completely out. Like, it might not be out for the count. Like, hear me out on this. Even though Super Saiyan, people don't like this, people dislike Super Saiyan 4, a lot of people like Super Saiyan 4. But I think if there is going to be a Super Saiyan 4, they're going to have to remake it in their own image because, as I said before in the video, the Rosaro Ape was for Super Saiyan 4, but now it's a legendary Super Saiyan. So I feel like if they're going to integrate Super Saiyan 4, it's going to be a different storyline, different back, uh, background for why Super Saiyan 4 is activated or where the power from Super Saiyan 4 comes from. So, if they do, it's going to be something different. So, it's a, hopefully a better better scenario than the Zaro 8. I think that's pretty much it, actually. I can't think of anything else to tell you guys. Um, if you like the video, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And um, leave a comment telling me what you think will be in a new season of super what do you, things you're gonna be excited about what do you, things do you expect there to be in uh it's been jan chan from jan chan entertainment and i'm out of here catch you on the next one